Hello everyone. So, um, so in this segment, we are going to see uh, the rela uh, the entity uh, the diagram for the relationship. Okay. So here you can see the list of entities that we talked about in our last class. Okay. Now let's find out the relationship between entities. So here are all the diagrams, uh, all the entity diagrams. They are like independent diagrams, but just looking at that you cannot actually find out how these entities are related uh, but we have actually the relationship and this relationship uh, actually it will be clear only from this entity diagram if you look closely here you can see that um, all right so if you look closely here for each of the entity you will see that each of the um, many of the entities has a attribute which comes from another entity okay so for example here department has a manager but who is this manager this manager is an employee okay so this manager uh, this manager is actually one employee okay one entity from this employee type all right that means this employee and department has a relation uh, because one employee works as a manager for the department okay so that's one relationship so first job is that we have to find out all the relationship so let's uh, try to list down all the relationship okay so one relationship is managers between department and employee okay so department uh, employee employee manages department all right so in the project entity we can see that project has a uh, attribute controlling department which will come from entity uh, which will come from department entity so each project is controlled by one department so we can see that here department controls projects all right now uh, look at the employee table so employee entity we can see here uh, we are going to actually find out couple of uh, relationship so first of all here employee has a department so each employee works in one department so this department comes from department table means we will find another relationship employee works in department okay each employee works in multiple uh, each employee can works in multiple project this project actually from this project table okay so another relationship employee works for i'm just using different name uh, so each re each relationship will be also be represented with a name okay works for projects All right then um, another uh, thing we can uh, another relationship we can think about the supervisor so um, one each employee has a supervisor all right I mean uh, many employees has a supervisor but uh, if a employee um, some employee may not have any supervisor if he is the boss of the company all right but some of the employees may have supervisor now this supervisor also come from the same table employee table okay but it's a actually recurrence relationship but uh, with the same table but still it's a relationship okay so employee supervises employee okay these are the relationship name and these are the tables or entity so um, another uh, entity we have left dependent so dependent uh, dependent has a employee attribute means this employee will come from the employee entity so uh, that means um, each dependent is associated with one employee 
all right so that's another relationship and we can say it like that employee has dependents all right so um i guess these are the six relationship we can uh, think about from this whole description okay so first uh, first from the re requirement the software requirement we came up with this initial entity diagrams and from that entity diagrams as uh, the relationship between entities are not clear now we are going to find out all the relationship first we are going to list all the relationship now we are going to show you the relationships okay so so far we saw all the entities we saw the attributes simple composite multi-valued now we are going to see the relationship concept so the relationship relates two or more distinct entities okay it can relate more than two entities uh, but uh, in all the examples we saw uh, the relationship that is going to relate two entities okay but it can relate more than two entities also so um now the degree of relationship type the degree of relationship type is the number of participating entity types so if the relationship connects only two entities it means it's a binary relationship for example i am saying that um say employee manages department now if i think manages it's a relationship it has two entity okay now i can think of uh, i i should use this symbol the rectangular symbol so i can think of the manager is like a operator and employee and managers these are the two operand okay so here we have two operand mean it's a binary operator or as a thinking of relationship means it's a relationship but connects only two entities so it's a binary relationship so the relationship type the relationship type um, means the relationship type will, uh, type will identify the relationship name and the participating entity types okay and also it will identify certain constraint we know that the constraint means some uh, restriction based on the some restriction some rules on on something okay so each relationship can also have some constraint some rules and some feature of that relationship okay so everything we discussed about like relationship type one type of relationship means it's a one it's a relationship type for example like i am talking about employee managers department so means managers it's a one type of relationship okay and relationship set the current set of relationship instances represented in the database okay so when you are thinking about let's see one example when we think about a relationship type so each relationship type will have some instance for example here we have entity set and we have department set now each employee is related with department okay we have a relationship like employee works in one department okay so that's the relationship and these are the two entities all right now let's see we have the employee set couple of employees here we have couple of departments here now the relationship will connect one employee the relationship with uh, connects uh, the employees with the departments all right so each relationship means it's a set which will connect the employee with the department so like here for example r1 is connecting e1 and d1 so r1 means it's a e1 d1 so this r1 uh, relationship it's a instance of relationship okay it's a instance of relationship that connects employee 1 and department 1 so r5 connects e5 and d3 okay so r5 instance connects e5 and d3 
so this relationship instance saying that employee 5 works in department 3 all right so relationship type means each different type of relationship so we are seeing that works for works uh, like here uh, works for it's a relationship type okay now manager say employee manages department so manages is a relationship type okay so from our uh, this list we can see that each relationship here we have six type of relationship so here employee managers department so managers uh, employee managers department so managers is one type of relationship department controls project controls is another type of relationship so from and from each relationship type we will find a relationship set so each set will have if it's a binary relationship each set will have two components okay for example controls so one relationship uh, so one relationship set controls each relationship type of controls relationship type will combined a uh, combined department and project okay so if c1 is a instance of control relationship type it will have uh, this set will have two components one department okay and another project all right so in EN diagram we are going to represent the relationship type like that so we are going to use a diamond shaped box so the diamond shaped box will look like this so each of the relationship we are going to represent using this box and each relationship will have a name all right for example like control and we'll write this name inside this diamond box okay and this relationship each relationship uh, connects multiple entity types so we are going to use these uh, like straight line we'll use this straight line to show the connection all right and degree of relationship type is the number of participating entity types so if we have two entity types that participates in one relationship means it's a binary relationship we can have also a relationship that connects three entity types like that it can it can look like that we don't have any example in this company database but we can have a relationship which connects more than two entity types like three uh, here so it will be here a ternary relationship here it's a binary relationship all right so now we are going to see by examining everything uh, by examining everything from our initial design we will find out uh, we'll find out all the relationship and we already did that um, we already did that and these are the list of relationship we have okay so works for between employee and department this name actually we are going to choose the name but we will try to uh, find out like as meaningful as possible all right but in one uh, year diagram we are going to choose each different name for each different relationship all right so for example here works for between employee and department so each employee works in a department manages between employee and department controls between department and project works on between employee and project so supervision is a uh, in the same table between employee and employee but if they works in the same table in that case actually the role will be there will be multiple roles right so uh, in this relationship we have it will look like that actually employee like employee okay supervises employee so in that case we know that uh, here uh, both are same entity types but uh, role is different 
so here uh, here the employee role is supervisor and here the employee role is supervising okay and we will also make it clear in our uh, entity relationship diagram so the last one is dependence of between employee and dependent now let's see how we are going to actually uh, draw the diagram <coughs> 